I don't have a crystal ball. Uh, we have uh, looked at uh, a lot of the uh, economic data that's coming out right now. And as I've said repeatedly, uh, we have seen some stabilization in the financial markets, and that's good because that means the companies can borrow and banks are starting to lend again. Small businesses that might have worried just a couple of months ago about closing doors, they are now able to get a little more financing. That means they're less likely to lay off workers. So that's on the positive side. Uh, what we have also seen uh, is that historically, even after you start moving into a recovery, positive growth, uh, hiring typically lags uh, for some time after that. That's been the historic norm. Now, this has been a more severe recession than we've seen since the Great Depression. So how employment numbers are going to respond uh, is not yet clear. Uh, my expectation is, is that we will probably continue to see unemployment tick up uh, for several months. And the challenge for this administration is to make sure that even as uh, we are stabilizing the financial system. We understand that the most important thing in the economy is are people able to find good jobs that pay good wages. We had a problem even before this recession, uh, even during periods of economic growth, where uh, the, the pace of job growth, wage growth, income growth was not moving as quickly as overall economic growth. Uh, you know, the last recession that we had, the recovery was termed a jobless recovery. We can't repeat that uh, approach. And that's why when I talk about things like health care reform or revamping how we approach energy and investing deeply in clean energy, uh, when I talk about uh, improving our education system, as I'll discuss today when I go to Michigan, uh, those foundations are so critical because we've got to find new models of economic growth, particularly at a time when consumers are just not going to probably going to be spending as much as they were, and that has been driving a lot of economic growth over the last several months. Uh, Michigan, obviously, is a state that has just been battered, not only during this recession, but uh, in the years leading up to this recession. Uh, we're pleased to see that GM now and Chrysler have gotten out of bankruptcy. They have an opportunity to uh, compete internationally. Had it not been for the steps that we took with respect to GM and Chrysler, the situation in Michigan, I think it's fair to say, would be far worse. Uh, the, the same applies to the Recovery Act. Uh, we've made investments that early on have allowed a state like Michigan to lay off fewer teachers, fewer cops, fewer firefighters. Those are all jobs that would have been lost in the absence of the recovery package. But it's still not enough. And so uh, I would argue that uh, the single biggest challenge that not just the United States face, but countries in Europe and all around the world are going to face as we come out of the recovery is how do we generate enough jobs uh, that pay good wages uh, to uh, keep up with uh, population growth. And unless we are investing in energy, infrastructure, innovation, science, development, and eliminating the drag that the health care system is uh, is placing on the overall economy, uh, I think we will have a very difficult time generating the jobs uh, that are necessary. If we make those investments, then I have confidence that we'll be able to do so.